The county animal shelter has come under fire recently from former volunteers who claim the facility is doing a lot of things wrong, such as not walking the dogs, not opening on Sundays for adoptions, and euthanizing animals that could be adopted. Our partners at the San Diego Union Tribune have been following this story and investigative editor Ricky Young is joining us now. Ricky, this is disturbing to say the least. What is the latest on this? We've been looking at cats and the big issue with cats is URIs or upper respiratory infections. Now you and I might call that a cold, but the county is calling that a death sentence. They're, they're killing animals who have that. They say it's highly contagious. That that they don't have enough space in their medical wards to contain the cats that have uh, the URIs and um, and they're they're putting them down. Can we expect to see some changes? The the county is doing its best to keep up uh, and one thing they've done in response to our coverage is they've added a new staff member as the assistant director over there at the shelter. She used to be the county's chief of staff for the whole county and now they've put her in uh, at, the, at the shelter hoping to make some changes. We did ask, one thing the volunteers have said is maybe you could adopt out more cats and kill fewer cats if you open the shelter on Sunday when people can take their family to go and adopt a cat. Uh, so we asked if that's something maybe the, the new assistant director could help put in place and they said well we are looking for fresh ideas of how to improve the organization at the shelter so maybe that could be one of them. Thank you Ricky. Uh, you can read the Thanks, full Kimberly. story in tomorrow's edition of the Union Tribune.